16.5 C rectangle problems bigger. We may have to draw two rectangles. We multiply or add to the small rectangle to make it equal the big rectangle. In example one here, we have each side of a square is decreased by six inches and when this happens the area of the larger square is 16 times the area of the smaller square. How many inches is the side of the original square? When we're starting with a bigger rectangle, so we start with x and x for our sides and then we're de decreasing those by six inches so we have x minus 6 and x minus 6 for our smaller. Now the area of our larger rectangle is going to be x squared. And then the area of our smaller rectangle is going to be x minus 6 quantity squared. Now that means that we have to multiply the smaller rectangle by how much larger the bigger one is. In this case they tell us 16 times. So we have x squared equal to 16 times x minus 6 quantity squared. Okay, now we want to expand this out. So we have x squared equal to 16 times x squared minus 12x plus 36. Now we distribute here. We have x squared equal to 16x squared minus 192x minus, sorry, plus 576. Subtract x squared from both sides. We now have 16x squared, or not 16, sorry, 15x squared minus 192x plus 576. And this whole thing equals zero. Now we're going to throw this into our quad, um, quadratic formula. So we have 192 plus or minus the square root of 192 squared minus 4 times 15 times 576. So we get 192 plus or minus the square root of 2304 whoops, I see I forgot my 15 under here, 2 times 15, which is 30. So now we have 192 plus or minus 48 all over 30. So 192 plus 48 it's going to give us 240 over 30. And the other one will give us 140, or 44, sorry, over 30, which would give us 8 and 4.8. Now, so we have two solutions. We need to check those. If we come back up here, if we use our 8, then for the 1 we'll have an 8 by 8, which will give us 64. And then for the second one we would have 8 minus 6, which would give us 2, so we'd have a 2 by 2, which equals 4. And 4 times 16 gives us 64. 
if we'd use our 4.8, that means we'd have 4, or 4.8, 4. Um, yeah, 4.8. I don't know why it sounded funny. So we have 4.8 times 4.8, but, and that's what, you know, this is, this is not a big deal giving us a number here, but 4.8 minus 6 gives us a negative number, so that part doesn't work. So that means that our dimensions of our original square are 8 inches by 8 inches. In example 2, we have the length of a rectangle is 9 feet longer than it is wide. If each side is increased by 9 feet, then the area is multiplied by 3. What are the dimensions of the original rectangle? So on this one, we start off with a rectangle that's x by x plus 9. We're increasing each side by 9. So we would have on the outside x plus 9 and x plus 18. Okay, so the area of our big train or rectangle is going to be x plus 9 times x plus 18, while the area of our small rectangle is x times x plus 9. We need to multiply our small rectangle by 3 because it says the area is multiplied by 3. So this will be 3x times the x plus 9. That will give us x squared plus 27x plus 162 equal to 3x squared plus 27x. We're going to move all this stuff over. to the other side. And that's going to give us 0 equal to 2x squared minus 162. These are both divisible by 2, so we'll divide everything by 2. So we get 0 is equal to x squared minus 81. This is a difference of squares, and it will factor easily to x plus 9, x minus 9. This will give us a negative answer. We cannot have a negative distance. So that means we're just going to use x minus 9. So that means x equals 9. So when we come back and we substitute this in to our original, we have our one side is going to be 9 feet. The other side is 9 plus 9, which would give us 18. So we have it. original rectangle is 9 feet by 18 feet.